Boom. All right, what's up, you guys? It's Royce Jacob. Welcome back to the channel. First of all, I hope you all had an amazing Christmas weekend. Spend some quality time with your loved ones because that's what the holidays are really all about. But it is time to get back down to business. This is a very important week. The reason for that obviously being this is the final trading week of 2021 and we are heading into a new year. I am happy to say that I'm feeling very confident in some of our favorite names across the market as we head into 2022. We will be talking about something called the January effect as we progress through the video. So let's get into it you guys. As always, we'll go over a few of the tabs I wanna share with you and then we'll dive on in, in front of us. The usual trading view where we will be covering technicals and price targets short term talking new years here okay on the following names in this order going down the watch you can see right shia on the right kicking it off with the king of the crypto markets that is bitcoin after bitcoin we will be talking about ethereum because ethereum typically dictates the price action of a lot of crypto equities or a lot of times crypto equities are related to altcoins okay they move closer to altcoins than bitcoins that may seem a little counterintuitive but from what i've perceived over the years that's just the case okay so we're covering bitcoin we're covering ethereum those are the only two cryptocurrencies themselves that we are covering today and then the two equity plays that i believe best sum up the crypto equity markets the best we'll move on to next so first of the two is going to be coinbase the big dog exchange one of my favorite stocks in the entire market right now looking very exciting from a technical perspective we'll talk about why that is of course and we'll close it out with the og we'll close it out with riot or riot blockchain all right so those are the four names we are going to be covering on the charts today in terms of fundamentals we will close it out on the charts you guys know we have to establish the fundamentals first so the first article i want to share with you guys is going to be pretty quick but it's just to sum up what is once again called the january effect jp morgan said the january effect could give a boost to these stocks we're not worried about these stocks in this article but i do want to talk to you guys about jpm's uh, a few quick paragraphs just right here on why jpm feels this year will be ex an exceptionally relevant january effect Effect, okay but first of course we have to talk about what the january effect is so before dump, jumping into this article we will quickly establish what the january effect is hop into here i'll give you guys just my kind of two cents on it um and then we'll close it out on the charts all right but first i do want to kick off the video by reading the intro to this morning's newsletter three-day weekend so it's an exciting day across the markets happy we kicked it off green so let's read through this just summarize my thoughts on the general market environment and then i'll uh, we'll talk we'll talk all that other good stuff all right so it's monday it's the final week of 2021 and things are looking green team both the equity and cryptocurrency markets are kicking off the trading week strong we're seeing some of that christmas money flowing into growth and tech sectors which i'd love to see as we head into the new year very content with the current structure of my portfolio as we head into 2022 the macro trends that i've been bullish on over the past couple of months still hold strong as we cross the chasm onto double deuces crypto is closing out the year with some great momentum the nasdaq and tech stocks are following suit which is a good sign for growth sectors in general green energy is still an obvious play and of course the metaverse trend is the trend of 2022 we're still in the early innings with this one and i'm pumped for what the new year has to offer for this space the past month or so has been shaky but i'm confident that we're beginning the journey to more solid grounds in the new year and remember this isn't only the final week of the year it's also this is wrong another four-day trading week so expect some volatile waters i still think this week will be volatile but I do need to correct myself. Usually New Year's Eve is off, but because this year, this Friday is the close of obviously the last week of the last trading week of the year, the last day of the fiscal quarters and the last, uh, obviously the last day of the year falls on this Friday. Uh, the, uh, it is required that the markets are open a full day. So we got a full trading week this week, which is all right because uh, it preps us that much more for the new year. So just want to correct that there. Uh, I trust this optimism will persist. Again, kick off the week strong so we can close out the week strong as well. Move into 2022 on a strong note. So far, so good. Let's get it, fam. All right, so you guys know the drill. If you want one of these bad boys in your email inbox every single trading day, including this Friday, in your email inbox, once again, uh, this is just the intro. The next one, obviously below that, talk about the trades I made today, added some new calls that I'm excited about to the options portfolio. But again, the stock portfolio is in great shape. Uh, and then in the next newsletter, that's part one and part two that I send out a couple of hours after that, I send out some charts. There was like Bitcoin, Coinbase, and then a few other EV, EV plays and uh, Decentral as well that i'm excited about so if you do want one of those along with a complete breakdown of my entire portfolio again all call options put options stock positions cryptocurrency positions uh, again 
So Metaverse plays in the crypto realm and the equity realm, actually, that I'm very excited about. If you guys want to join the fam, if you guys want to know what we are doing as we move into 2022, new year, new gains, uh, first link down below, that's going to be 15 bucks a month or 40 bucks for every three months. It means the world if you guys check that out. Do uh, do my best to make that worth your hard-earned money. So again, it's much appreciated if you guys check that out. But if not, no worries. Also, before we get in, you guys, if you're feeling bullish as we move into 2022, please give the video a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not help your boy get to i mean 50k in 2022 is a super easy goal so let's set the bar low let's try to get to 50k uh in q1 of 2022 we'll do that uh so it'd be a lot of you guys subscribe to the channel as well all right so again we will close out and let me know in the comments down below are you feeling bullish and why just close it out there all right uh before we dive into the charts again we'll close out the video on the charts talking technicals let's talk about the january effect so what is the january effect the january effect is a perceived seasonal increase in stock prices during the month of january analysts generally attribute this rally to an increasing increase in buying which follows the drop in price that typically happens in december when investors engaging in tax loss harvesting been saying that a lot over the past couple of weeks right that's led to a lot of the sales and especially growth market and growth sectors um, to offset realized capital gains prompt a sell-off okay so again that's why december is especially volatile in this case because of so many names so so much upside and uh, actually in the past month or in the past couple of months downside i guess the beginning of the year was awesome a lot of people again bought into some of these hyper growth sectors at high levels unfortunately lost it over the course of the year i fell victim to a few of those names you guys know that but uh again it only makes sense and it's only responsible as a financially responsible individual to offset your capital gains by uh by appreciating or realizing losses uh in the equity markets okay and that is tax tax offset uh, another possible explanation is that investors use year in cash bonuses christmas money to purchase investments the following month while this market uh anomaly has been identified in the past the january effect seems to have largely disappeared as its presence became known but you guys if there's one thing that i've learned in this recent market environment it's that sometimes the obvious is the obvious okay sometimes you're like this is too obvious it's not going to happen but in this past year or so everything that i've felt was way too obvious and i bet against it was the case and sometimes the obvious is the case especially in this environment you guys trust me okay so that's that you guys uh, let's talk about this again we'll, we'll, uh, we'll cover a few paragraphs here as to why jp morgan believes the january effect will be uh, exceptional this year and then we'll close it on the charts all right so jp morgan believes the markets will experience the january effect an old wall street theory that calls for stock gains in the early year the bank said the current market setup is particularly attractive for high beta stocks this means highly volatile names these names also known as high momentum stocks is exhibit greater volatility than the broader market so again think pretty much all of the equities that we cover here on the channel small caps in hyper growth sectors that means these stocks move higher than the market on a positive day and vice versa many high bid stocks in the secular growth sector have uh, have had sizable sell-offs recently while their fundamental remains fundamentals remain intact it's very important to remember setting the stage for a rebound in early 2022 jp morgan strategy said in a december 27th note quote we expect the upcoming january effect to be even more pronounced this time around given extreme positioning and sentiment with the potential for large high beta squeeze the strategy said so again you guys uh the current market environment uh judging on how the past few months have played out again in the early year you guys were all around for that for the crazy ev the again small cap evs the bitcoin mining rally that happened in january mark uh january february going into early march things just absolutely rocketed and then over the course of the year unfortunately a lot of that sold off again tax loss harvesting was in play but the fundamentals surrounding so many of these companies especially within this inflationary environment cpi data is still staggering okay so inflation is still here even following this rally so from a fundamental perspective i do think that there's a lot of names that are undervalued right now especially relative to many other players within the market tesla but um that all that to say again let's hope the january effect is as jp morgan expects a little extra generous this year and uh yeah let's hope a few of our favorite names uh benefit from that january effect let's get into them let's talk bitcoin right now so bitcoin earlier today looked a lot more promising than it does right now but hey we are still in a series of higher highs and higher lows on the short-term uptrend okay right here high low higher high higher low you guys know what that is this is a short-term uptrend following the breakout of resistance on the longer term downtrend so we are still in a bull trend and that's very important to remember even though at the time of recording let's hope it turns up by the time you guys watch this is a little bleak but what do i want to see to be like 
yep, New Year's is going to be a good New Year. It's going to be a good New Year's Eve for Bitcoin. I really want to see this ascending channel, this short-term ascending channel reclaimed. We saw a few times we tried to test above it. We did officially break above it, but you guys know that in order to, to be convinced on trend direction, I do want to see a four hour closure above the trend lines that I have in place. Okay. So in order for me to flip short-term bullish, I'm still short-term bullish. As long as we're above kind of right here, still setting the series of lower highs uh, of higher, of higher highs and higher lows. If we are pretty much above 49.5, I'm still bullish. Um, even if we come down to here, you guys, sometimes Bitcoin's weird like that. You can consider this a high and this is the low right here. So even if we're above like 48.5, $49,000, this might be a fake out. And uh, again, Bitcoin is also not only the king of the crypto markets, but the king of the fake outs. Okay, so uh, again, sentiment still feels strong. I do think Bitcoin will uh, will be able to reclaim this ascending channel and once it does i do think that we'll make our way up january 1st 2022 to test the top side of this ascending channel that'll take us to my top level price target that i would flip bullish at which is just above fifty nine thousand dollars and then if we can clear sixty thousand dollars which is very significant psychological resistance i do think we will Honestly, I think it's very likely that we will see new all-time highs in Q1 of 2022 if we can once again break back above 60K, okay? So, fingers crossed. Let's hope for the best. Talk Ethereum now. So, Ethereum is currently short-term in... Uh, it has Ethereum has broken pretty well, two pretty significant lines of support I have in place. So, I'll show you guys what these two lines are. This is a pretty significant trend line right here for ETH, just general trend line. And then this is the more short-term, uh, sharper line of resistance on the shorter-term downtrend, okay? So, Ether is currently above both these trend lines which i really like to see and ether short term is also printing this nice ascending triangle now historically typically you guys know the drill like technical patterns are kind of just to play the odds right even if it's 60 40 odds you always take the 60 40 bet because the odds are in your favor okay so again a lot of times technical patterns 80 20 70 30 pretty good odds but Usually the odds to you in the favor of ascending triangles, breaking out to the upside, especially in an overall bull trend, okay? So Ethereum is currently printing a pretty clean ascending triangle. I do think it's likely that Ethereum does break out to the upside of this ascending triangle. If Ethereum breaks out, I do think that we will start making a run to test previous all-time highs around $48, $4,900. And then if we can see 5K, you guys, I do think that potentially by mid-January, we could see a $6,500 Ethereum. And uh, we'll cross those bridges when we come to them. But uh, let's hope in the short term that we can break out of this ascending triangle because that would mean we'll probably get pretty close to, to previous all-time highs come New Year's, okay? So or at least early 2022. Let's talk Coinbase. Coinbase, again, as I mentioned in the beginning, very, very pivotal, very, very pivotal point from a technical perspective. We called this, you guys. We've been trading Coinbase pretty well. If you guys are part of the portfolio, whatnot. Uh, very happy in the pop. We've seen calls performing well. Obviously, stock positions performing well as well in this area. A bounce was very obvious so not too proud of that one but i'm always happy to see technicals playing out as they should especially when uh the overall market environment is feeling bullish and we've seen a very very unwarranted un unrational unjustified sell-off in my opinion at least okay so i like to see that we came up perfectly tested resistance on this very obvious downtrend every trader trading coinbase is looking at this thing so we did come up perfectly tested close the day pretty much exactly on this so tomorrow tuesday wednesday whenever pretty much if coinbase can hold 280 285 but i'll say from a conservative perspective if coinbase can see 290 dollars at any point when you guys are watching this video that will that will constitute uh, an official breakout of the line of resistance on its current downtrend that began in early november and i do think if we can see that again a break of 290 i do think we will, will use previous support uh proven as new resistance uh right here i do think this trend line that is uh, again just a significant trend line will come back into play coinbase has so many positive fundamentals on its side again you guys the q3 numbers weren't very impressive just because summer that that time of the year is historically slow but q4 we're seeing volume pick up it's pretty obvious to me that q4 numbers which come out in a couple of months so it's going to take a little time but uh stock up now i think coinbase again i do think one day this is a trillion dollar company we're currently just under 60 billion dollars that seems crazy cheap to me in the grand scheme of things so uh again expect some volatility but coinbase is an absolute steal if you guys have diamond hands like the waves fam does okay so uh if we let's hope we can break 290 if it does i think we could be in for a very very strong uh q1 january january effect rally okay let's close it out with riot riot uh definitely has some bounce potential right here as we move into 2022 uh again similar i mean similar line of resistance that pretty much every trader 
that's trading this stock is looking at right here so touch point here again rides previous high mid-november touch point here obvious line of resistance on this very stark downtrend if right is able to come up and test this line of resistance by weeks end december 30th december 31st that will take us up to a 30 dollar ride now if by the end of the week right can break 30 dollars that's very exciting because that would constitute once again a breakout uh an official break of resistance um so let's hope we see that but at the very least from a bounce perspective i do think it's very likely that right bounces up to about 30 dollars by week's end and uh we will move into 2022 again if we can close above that 2022 should be very exciting so once again let's hope this january effect comes into play let's hope it's especially generous this year and uh let's hope the waves fam is able to have a great year all right you guys again if you want to follow the journey that links down below if you want to join the discord as well that links down below code holiday 50 at checkout if you guys want 50 bucks off exclusive access to the discord that will be in place until january 1st so uh hope to see you guys at the discord and uh again appreciate it if you guys check this out if not still appreciate your time regardless appreciate your eyeballs here and uh i will i'm excited to make videos coming into the new year let's hope things stay bullish because it's way funner to make content in a bullish environment but hey either way stay optimistic and uh enjoy your holidays you guys so i'll see you downstairs in the comments talk about whatever you guys want until next time always remember take action make waves Peace.